New Minds presents The Steam Train! Hello everybody and welcome back to The Steam Train. The super awesome New Minds show where Dorian, Toby, and all sorts of different characters get up to shenanigans and learn a lot along the way. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead and see what happened earlier in this episode. Toby, you've always been like a brother to me, and it's time for you to run this episode of the steam train. You're incredible, and always doing something new. Attached to this letter, I have left brand new plans to make a paper sumo. They're like rock and sock and robots. They're a lot of fun, and we can play as soon as I get back. I'm leaving it up to you, Toby, and I trust that you can complete this task. Step one, of course, you'll need the correct tools. The things you'll need are square paper, like origami paper or any paper that's been made to a square, in a small box. It just has to be bigger than the size of your paper. You can set the box aside because it's time for us to start. First thing you'll need to do is turn your paper where the pretty side is on the back and fold it internally in half both ways. Make sure your lines are clean and crisp and take your time. Make sure both sides are evenly folded and continue on with the next step. Move the box out of the way and make sure your area is clear. Take the corners and fold them towards the center. They should line up along the two lines you made by folding. Make sure all four sides are equally folded nicely and cleanly. The next step is, of course, to turn it over to the back side. Don't forget to keep yourself hydrated and refreshed as you work and continue on. You're going to take a corner and fold it into the middle. It won't line up with the center point and that is exactly what you want. Fold the other side in evenly and you will have a diamond kite shape. If you ever get confused, rewind the blueprints and watch them again. I believe in you, Toby. Now you're going to reach to the back and unfold the flaps. I'm not going to unfold them all the way, but it will make two diamonds on top of each other as a final shape. You'll take the tip of that new diamond and fold it down to the bottom. You should start to see the back side showing now on your project. Fold the tip back up about halfway. This does not have to be perfect, this is just depending on how it looks. Flip it over to the back and take the bottom corner, fold it up to the top, right at the point of the diamond and then fold the tip down to make sure your sumo does not fall apart when it is folded in half. Add the final folds and you have a sumo, but it's no fun to have just one sumo. Make a second one so you can play with a friend. Once you have your sumos, bring back your box. Your box is going to be your arena and your stage. Towards the center, mark two lines that are equal distance away from the center point. Set up your sumos and you're now ready to play the game. To use your fighter, what you need to do is set them up on the box equal distance away and make sure you can reach both sides of the box. You are going to vigorously but carefully tap the box to not bump the sumo but bump the box. They'll start to shake, vibrate, and push each other. Last one standing wins. You might have to try again and again, but eventually there will be a winner when one falls or falls off the box. Those who do not know their history are doomed to repeat it. We live in a very interesting and important time in history. With the internet and common modern technology, 
We have the ability to have access to any information from any point in time that's ever existed. Now, everybody makes mistakes, and that is part of being human. And humanity has made a lot of mistakes over its history. But we don't have to repeat those mistakes. We have the ability to look at those, learn from them, and do better. If you're watching this now, you're probably younger. You might be older. But it doesn't matter who you are, there's always time to change. Education is what we believe in, and there's a lot of ways to achieve it. You have to make yourself uncomfortable, be willing to change when you're wrong, and be able to adapt to be part of the new, better future. You guys are all going to do amazing things. Just make sure to look at yourself and think about what your values are, what is important, and how can you help be on the right side of history. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in with another Real Inspired Learning with New Minds. And also another amazing episode of the STEAM Train. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you like the video, like the video down below. If you have an idea what we should do next, leave a comment. And if you want to catch all of our awesome New Minds content, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys all very much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day. Here's an outro.